You know, after having a successful year last year, we didn't know what to expect, really. This summer, though, we started off strong. We went to the summer tournaments, we started winning, we started realizing, man, we can be just as good as we were last year. When the summer started, we really saw what we could do, and we knew that if we really wanted it and we put in the work, we knew that we could do it, we could get here. It was obviously going to be different, and it was going to be hard because nobody really knew what to expect because we lost so much. The Final Four was obviously what everyone wants to happen, to make it back. I believed we could make it this far, but never thought it would actually happen. Well, we went through a lot this year, and we obviously had to work really hard to prove to people that we can be as good as the team was last year, and we wanted to prove that really, really, really bad. We worked hard to show everybody what we can do. It's kind of like surreal because I was there last year just like sitting on the bench watching everything happen, them being so excited they made it because they're like playing on the floor. I always wanted to be on the floor playing and now this year that I'm like there and then we made it back to the final four, it's like, I don't know, it's like a crazy feeling that I just can't like even describe. I remember, you know, state tournament last year, I had a couple girls message and say, hey, are we lifting on Monday? And I thought, okay. Like this is, this is good. We started building that foundation so early. As soon as I went down, I was like, man, I know. My foot doesn't feel right. When it happened, all I could think of was the rest of my season. I didn't know how much of the season I'd get to play, but I always had confidence in this tournament run, and here we are, I get to go on with the majority of the season. She has definitely reached back to where she is, jumping as high as she was, hitting as hard as she was. It's just incredible to see her recover so well and so quickly. It was a matter of all of the coaches saying, trust this process. Everybody really collectively got it together and they decided that they, you know, they needed to become better hitters, better passers, a better setter. Definitely the schedule that Zender has put together for us over the summer playing all of these difficult teams, coming to season playing all of these difficult teams. If we weren't challenged in games or in practice, we wouldn't be where we are right now. I don't think it's surprising because Coach Zender has made us for this moment. Like we were made to like step up, take action. Like it's not surprising at all. I know we are all capable of it and we just had to prove it and that's what they did. These girls work and you you know you see that in a game it's wild to me that they are this kind of driven and focused and hardworking throughout their lives it was definitely a little stressful at the beginning knowing that we have five inexperienced back row varsity players but they put in the hard work and they're doing a phenomenal job like they'll smack it and Journey's just there and I'm like, okay, Journey, care is great. Care is so much more than we can ask for in a freshman. Same with Nat, Nat's stepped in in a really big role. Last year's appearance, the atmosphere definitely got to us. I can personally say it did, it got to me. I was like, man, this is a big floor, there's lots of seats around. But having that experience already this year, my mindset is definitely different. We are all super excited. We all, we want to win Thursday so bad. Yeah, it's a really big atmosphere and we have some freshmen on there. So we gotta get out there and don't let that get to us in just another game. Of course, Thursday I'm gonna be a little nervous. It's a big floor, I've never played there before. And it's a big team, there's gonna be a lot of people there. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And I hope we pull out the win. I'm, I'm really confident that we can do this. It's kind of crazy to think my high school season's gonna end one way or the other, I'd love for it to end in the state championship, but either way, I think I could say that it's been very successful. Definitely excited, definitely sad, but to know that we have given it our all and that we have made it back to the final four with a chance to go to the state championship, I couldn't ask for anymore. Uh, you know, it's just uh, without getting teary-eyed again, because I can't do that. One of my first thoughts after we won on Saturday was I get another week with these girls. It's been a dream this year. 
Last year was great as well in its own unique way, but this year it's just been so fun and it's so fun to prove people wrong. I'm really excited about that and I know that the girls are excited about that as well. West 40 Auto Sales, Valentine Insurance, AMG Vanadium, Stoney's RV Sales and Service, and JNS Tree Services. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for some high school volleyball on WILA FM 97.7. This afternoon, the Meadowbrook Lady Colts will take on the Archbishop McNicholas Rockets. Lady Rockets coming in as regional champions and the Lady Colts coming in as regional champions. This is the state semifinal match. We are at the... E.J. Nutter Center at Wright State University. I'm Bill Kastler. Brett Klein joining me again this afternoon. And uh, Brett, it doesn't get any better than this. This is a high level of volleyball. Both these teams are regional champions. And uh, Meadowbrook here for the second time in two years. Oh, yeah. Fantastic for Meadowbrook to have. And no matter who you are, what sport you're playing, what, you know, what competition you're playing, the goal is the state tournament every year. And Meadowbrook has been successful in coming here not only this year, but the year prior, um, a big congratulations to Archbishop. They are back. Well, not back. They are here for the first time. First time ever, yes. The Rockets of McNicholas uh, down in Cincinnati. Fantastic for them. Um, pretty easy ride over here. Went through the heart of Columbus. And, you know, we're, they have us right down on the floor. A great location for it. Meadowbrook Faithful showed up. They got a nice student section. Archbishop, same thing. Pretty good crowd. We're looking for some great volleyball between two highly competitive teams here today. Absolutely. Talk to uh, Coach Kelly Zender before the game, and uh, she says pressure defense. Uh, we've got a. Uh, we basically have to pressure their defense all day long. Uh, they've got a left-hander coming from the right side, and their key hitters usually come from the outside. And these McNicholas girls, they are big. Yes, they are. And uh, the highlights of their height comes from the coach's daughter, Lily Tierney, 5'11 freshman, middle hitter, outside hitter. A good distraction when they have the ball on their side. Another freshman, Savannah Stacy, 5'11 freshman, and another hitter, Ali Strange. She's the libero. She's a freshman as well. So a lot of freshmen playing here for the Rockets. Uh, they come in, like I said, the first time uh, that they have won their region, and they are here basically facing an experienced Meadowbrook volleyball team. Right, four seniors for Archbishop. It's going to be a little bit tough, but with the amount of freshmen and sophomore, you'd love to see that for Archbishop. Huge you know. rotation. Meadowbrook, of course, is going to dance with uh, who they brung, so uh, we'll see pretty much the same lineup that we've seen all year. Hey, right now, we are getting ready to uh, listen to our national anthem, so we're going to take a brief moment, take a brief time out. We'll be back with more from Wright State University right after this. Are you looking for a career path with a growing company? AMG Vanadium is actively recruiting for production and maintenance team members at its Zanesville plant and would love to talk to you about your next career opportunity. Come join a company with a strong environmental purpose and commitment to community. To learn more, visit AMG's website at amg-v.com slash careers. AMG offers a competitive wage and benefit package and career growth opportunities. Applications are currently being accepted. Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Start thinking about outdoor project season. That's where Jay 
JNS Tree Care Services can help. Whether it's hauling, cutting, trimming, removal, stump grinding, leaf and debris cleanup, or any other timber project, nothing is too far away, too big, or too small. JNS Tree Care Services can do it all. Find us on Facebook at JS Tree Care Services and call me, Jeanette, or my husband, Steve, for a free quote at 740-260-6603. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it's for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company from Iowa to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today, 740-305-5121 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. Stoney's RV Center is the place that makes buying a new RV easy. Ask about their on-site financing with very affordable payments, and they make on-site camper service calls to the area campgrounds. Stoney's RV also carries cargo trailers, car haulers, horse and stock trailers, and open utility trailers. They install hitch systems and fill propane tanks, too. Stoney's RV Center, the place that takes camping to the next level, and a proud sponsor of our area high school sports teams. And welcome back to the E.J. Nutter Center, Wright State University in Fairborn, Ohio. Bill Kastler and Brett Klein with you here, and we are preparing now for the opening serve of this uh, Girls Division Three Regional Semifinal. And, Bill, we have been fortunate to watch these Lady Colts the past... Well, I've seen them the past two games. You did cover them for the district finals. I was doing a couple other things for our sports department, but you got to think that if you're Meadowbrook coming into this, you're ready to play. You're telling yourselves, I've been here before. I should know this is the biggest stage that we can get. Well, it is. Other than the state finals. I was talking to coach, assistant coach Jeff Barrows before the game, and he said, you know, he said, our schedule helps us. Basically, Meadowbrook scheduled tough, and a big crowd from McNicholas. He said that our schedule's going to help us. He said, we've scheduled tough. We've played teams that are this good. We've played teams that are bigger than us all year long. This is nothing new. So we are prepared for this. We were here last year. Nerves shouldn't be as much of a factor as it will be for the McNicholas girls. Right, and for them, this is, like we said earlier, this is their first trip to the state tournament. Uh, their first time in the Final Four. Again, congratulations to the Rockets. And... You want to see how Meadowbrook fares up against their size. Not the first time I've said this when it comes to these recent matchups for Meadowbrook. And they've done quite well defending the size. Union Local was a bigger team. Nelsonville York was a bigger team. Now South Webster, they were a lot like the Colts. Pretty well mirrored there. But McNicholas, again, a big team. So this is not something that the Colts have not seen this year. Exactly. And, you know, when you're seeing these teams give their handshake right in front of you, there's really not that much of a difference. Archbishop has a couple girls that may be a little bit taller, but Meadowbrook also has a couple girls that have a little bit of height on them too. So a lot to expect moving forward. Keep an eye on number 11, Lily Teary. She's the coach's daughter. Outstanding hitter for the Lady Rockets. Also Maria Billies. She's the setter. So uh, you'll see her handling the ball quite a bit. She should get uh, that second ball and she'll try to set the offense up. Of course, uh, I got to uh, talk to Coach Darlene Tierney before the game. She said what most volleyball coaches say. Hey, we've got to have, we've got to serve well, and we have got to stay in system, play some good defense to win this game, which is a lot uh, the same thing that Kelly said, although she said we've got a few service targets picked out. Right. So it's going to be real crucial early. If Meadowbrook can break out to a lead here early in this first game, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the Lady Rockets. Defense definitely a big key when it comes to this matchup. And what's going to be interesting to see is that Meadowbrook has had games where they have had fantastic service runs. And if Meadowbrook can get ahead of that game, the serving game, it's going to be huge for the Colts moving forward. Officials today, David Barnes is up on the net. He's on the ladder. Stephen Trout is under the net. Uh, line officials Jim Lott and Bob Blevins. And McNicholas will open with the serve. That is number 14, Maria Billies, the setter. That ball is in. Bumped up by Carly Launder. Middle hit. Ball's in. That's Point Meadowbrook. The start that Meadowbrook so badly wanted. Come out strong. Get on the board. And now 
you try and play the advantage game. Perfect pass and a hit to the and a set to the middle hitter right on time. Here we go. Kara Launder, the serve is in. Good Balls serve. up, it's an overpass. Put down. Point Colts, 2 0. Huge for Meadowbrook there. And right off the bat, Meadowbrook getting off to a great service run. A lot of good plays coming through. You know, even their, their serves. You know, Archbishop is having to work for it right now at the beginning of the game. Carol Launder, ball is into the net. That's 2 1 McNicholas. Now, that is an unforced error, so McNicholas wants to earn some points, but they look a little bit tight to start this game off. Hoping to, to serve hoping now. Hoping to see the Rockets get, you know, hopefully they can become a little bit more loose as they move forward. Gabby Meadowbrook Hop definitely looks ready to go. Gabby Hopkins serve is in. Back set. Balls up to the outside. That's hit down the line and out. No touch. Point Meadowbrook. 3-1 Lady Colts. That was a good recovery by Archbishop. You know, a bit questionable coming off of the pass there, but overall, great recovery. And then Meadowbrook doing just as well of a job getting a point for him. Little overcompensation as they tried to cut the line that time. They cut it way, way too hard. Now looking for ball. And the serve to number one, Taylor Sichna. Senior captain. Ball is in. That's easy block there by number 11. That's Stoney. Ball is up. Dig, dug up by the Lady Colts. Pulled out of the net. Here's a rollover by Carly Launder. Great work. Out of the Colts outside. The That's blocked. <sighs> Double by the Colts. And point Meadowbrook. Ball hits the tape. Lady Colts off to a 4-1 lead. High competition to start this game here, Bill. Brett, the bigger the lead the Lady Colts get, the more pressure is on McNicholas, and they're tight. First state final four for the Lady Rockets. Good serve. Ball's up. That's a good pass up. Ball's blocked up into the air. Easy pass up. Back to the outside. Little roll by Carly Launder. That ball's in. Put up to the outside. Ball's dumped. Tipped up by Meadowbrook. Great effort by the Colts there to keep that ball alive. Stoney to get it across. Libero puts it up. Backline hit block. Great block uh, by the Colts. Right, Stoney. Right in no woman's land, Bill. Yeah. Katie Stoney all over that one. Putting up the roof. You have to like that. Fantastic positioning by her to get that ball right where nobody else was. Ball is in by Sitchna. Good run here by Taylor Sitchna to the outside. Ball's out. 7-1 Lady Colts. 6-1, excuse me, Lady Colts. Like I just mentioned earlier, Meadowbrook is doing exactly what they want to do. Capitalize on great service runs. Meadowbrook looks like the experienced team here. Oh, bad pass by the libero. It is 7-1 Meadowbrook. Timeout. Archbishop McNicholas and the Colts are off to just the start they wanted. If you're Kelly Zender, you, you couldn't imagine a better start. The only points McNicholas has had so far have been off that missed serve by Carol Launder. Right, and if you take away that missed serve, Meadowbrook has been dominating this game. Their defense has been on point. Their passing has been on point. Even when they attack, they have been fantastic so far. And what the good defense and good passing equal good attacks. And that's what we've seen out of the Lady Colts. Colts doing a great job getting that ball set up exactly where they want it. Whether it's, you know, a back set or, you know, a, a quick seven meter set. You know, no matter what they're doing, they're doing a fantastic job right now. They are ready to play. Catching Archbishop a bit off guard. Lady Rockets feeling the pressure now. Taylor Sitchda on a good service run for the Lady Colts here to start this game. 7-1 Meadowbrook. Sitchna still serving for the Colts. Ball is in. Put up nicely. Middle set. There's a hit. Dug up by Sitchna, but it won't be playable. That's point McNicholas, and that is the first earned point for the Lady Rockets. 7-2 right now. You know, Meadowbrook trying to hold on to a comfortable lead. Sitchna coming out for now. And you want to see if Archbishop, you know, can they start to get momentum their way? That was Lily Tierney, I think, that put that ball down. Ball set here. Sitchna dumping it across. Good block by McNicholas. And here come the Lady Rockets. 7-3 now. And they had a great block on that. Meadowbrook tried to get a very quick rollover, but trying the, the dump, Trying to dump over the block and couldn't get it over the top. Balls up by Kara Launder. Outside Launder. Ball roll. Ooh, picked up by the Lady Colts. 
Black with the backside hit. Avery Black, here's the hit by McNicholas. Touch by the Lady Colts, so that's going to be 7-4. And the libero, number eight, Allie Strange for the Lady Rockets on a nice service run. Ball's in. Put up to the back. That's going to be a double hit and a good call. Not what you want to see for Meadowbrook right now. Get up to a 7-2 lead, and then the Rockets come throwing back 7-5 now. Again, a good run by Allie Strange. The libero for Bishop McNicholas. Archbishop with a big crowd, definitely bringing some energy. Good up for by the, the Colts. Back to the outside. There's a little roll by Stoney, picked up by the Rockets. Outside, tough hit, blocked by Meadowbrook. Dumped by McNicholas. Let's see. That's going to make it seven six. They're going to say that ball was in. Strange tough, continues tough, her service run. A tough play there at the net for Meadowbrook. You know, a couple. You know, ball just kind of rolled on the net there and then went back over. Ended up point to Rockets. the middle. Dumped. Nice job by Wander to get it back. That's turned the line out of bounds and point Meadowbrook. The bleeding stops and here's Avery Black. This is where we get interesting because just like we saw in the South Webster game, when Meadowbrook held a lead and South Webster tried to take any momentum, Meadowbrook always answered with some points. It was exactly what they just did. Little roll, and that's out. And that's going to make it 9-6 Lady Colts. Avery Black. In this rotation, Colts have had some good luck on all through the tournament. Avery Black has been a fantastic server the entire tournament run for the Colts. Ball's in. Picked up by the libero to the outside now. Rolled across by McNicholas. Good dig up. Good dig out of the net by Sichna. Back set. And hit, turning the line. Great job by the libero. Can't get to it now. That ball just... Journey Nicola, the libero for the Lady Colts. Could not dig it back in. Hit a ball bit too into awkward the and over top the scores table and into the stands. 9-7 now. Two-point lead for the Lady Colts. With the serve, number five, Ali Ronte for the Lady Rockets. Back set. Tough. Ronder's roll was tough. Nicola's pass is up to the back line. Black, that's up. That's an overpass. Able to dig it out from the net and back over. Fantastic Great work by the Rockets. Nicholas. Outside. Ronder off the block. Archbishop. Down. Archbishop with a fantastic. Fantastic run there. That was Maria Billy's, the setter, turning and hitting that one. They did not give up a single bit on that play there. I mean, even when it seemed like that ball was going to go a bit far, they hustled well, and they just played fantastic. 9-8 now. One-point lead for Meadowbrook. Ball's out of bounds. That's going to make it 10-8. Lady Colts, good eye by Meadowbrook. And you can hear the communication from down on the court here. They are trying their best to be on top of things. Carly Launder, the senior captain, now with the serve for the Lady Colts. Ball is in. Middle hit. Blocked. Picked out of the net by the Lady Colts, but not enough. And they can't dig it back to the defense. That's going to be point McNicholas. A bit fast-paced to try and get that ball dug out from the net there. Just a little bit too much for Meadowbrook to handle. Um, if I were Meadowbrook, nothing to be too flustered about. Just try to capitalize on Archbishop serve. To the outside, blocked, picked up, and across by the Lady Colts. Great defense by the outside, Colts there. Outside, three-meter set. Ball's up. Across by Sitchna. Great job. Doesn't catch the Lady Rockets. Sleeping backline hit, out of bounds. That's point Meadowbrook. And again, Meadowbrook doing their best job to mend the storm. Archbishop's coming back. All right, let us get a point. And that's exactly what they've been doing the past few times. I think the opening jitters for both teams are now past. Archbishop definitely playing a lot better than they were in those first couple serves. Journey Nicola with the serve now for the Lady Colts. Ball is in. Outside. Dumped. That is Cassidy Rivas with that little power dump. Puts it right into the middle of the court. Nice job by the Lady Rock. It's 11-10. Meadowbrook with a one-point lead. First game very tight. With the serve now, number nine, Ali Strange. Serve is in. Good dig up. That's hit. 
Took something off of it. To the outside. Ball's blocked by the Lady Colts. Can't come up with it. Walk to the outside and just a little lapse in communication by the Colts there. 11-11. McNicholas crowd is into it now. Strange with another serve. Ball is in. Sitchna set to the outside. Taylor Sitchna with the hit, and that's point Meadowbrook. It was right a, through the block. A good block for Archbishop, but that ball was just hit a bit too well for Meadowbrook, unable to get it back over to the Blew other side. Blew the block right off the net. That's how hard she hit it. 12-11. Yeah, Meadowbrook answering with some points, trying to mend the storm, keep an advantage over the Archbishop. Rock. Outside. Ball's hit. Uh, dug up by Nicola and across. Picked up by McNicholas. It's a free ball across. Little roll. If you're Meadowbrook, this is your chance to, the to get back. points. Sitchna with the hit. That's in. Fantastic play by Meadowbrook there. They they mended that, especially the pass off the hit perfectly. Taylor Sitchna and Avery Black talking it over. Avery thought that, might, that set might have been for her. All right. Here is Addie Sitchna with the serve. The setter puts it in. A good serve by Meadowbrook. Ball's free across for the Lady Colts. Addie Sitchna with the set. That's going to be point Lady Colts. I think that was a double hit by the Lady Rockets. Fresh ball in for Addie Sitchna. 14 to 11, Meadowbrook. Game is to 25. Ball is in by Addie Sitchna. Dug up by the libero. To the outside, that's hit off the block. Picked up by Carly Launder. Good by outside, the block. And great defense by Archbishop. Natalie Norman hit it hard, but it was a little bit under the block. And with that, good block by the Lady Rockets. Archbishop seemed to have, you know, they had great defense on that. And Meadowbrook seemed, seemed as though they had control of that. But Archbishop's defense proving successful Ooh. in that. Bad bump by Avery Black. That's going to make it 14-13, Lady Colts. Serve again for the Lady Rockets. Number 14, Maria Billies, the setter with the serve. Ball is in. Put up by, there's a hit. Taylor Sitchna, hit is dug up. And another hit down the line. Good, jo good job there. Taylor Sitchna can't handle the pass. Addie Sitchna could not get to it, so Just that's like going that. to make it 14-14, and it's been tied once before. Archbishop on a, a pretty good service run, looking to keep some momentum. Ball is out, and a good call. Good job by the Lady Colts to watch that serve. Right as I speak, Bill. Right as I speak. Service here. Here's Kara Launder with the serve. Ball is in. Back set. Picked up by the Lady Colts. Now it's going to be rolled across by Carly Launder. Good pass up. Ball's down. That is number 11 for the Lady Rockets. Lily Tierney, coach's daughter. That did a very, that, that ball had a fantastic split of the defenders. Yeah, well, and that's again a good pass right there. The setter had three options and chose the right one with Tierney. 15-15. Ball is in. Oh! Journey Nicola's bump rolls out of bounds. 16-15 now. Bishop Archbishop McNicholas with the one point lead. This is our first lead of the afternoon. Meadowbrook seeming a little bit flustered. They're definitely letting Archbishop get some, some good service runs. Great defense is being played by the Rockets as well. Nicola's bump this time is good. To the outside, that's hit hard. Hand down the line. Carly Launder ties the game 16-16. Carly Launder took that and she said, you are not building a lead on me. Taylor Sitchna with the serve. This was a good rotation for the Colts last time. That ball was in. To the outside. Hit hard and out. A bit too no much touch. from Archbishop McNicholas there. Meadowbrook back in the lead, 
Taylor Sitchnut with the serve again. Again, this was a tough rotation for Archbishop McNicholas. Ball's in by Sitchnut. That's a tough bump. Pulled way up. That's an overpass. No. Nothing doing as number 12, Ava Strange, couldn't put the ball over. Point Meadowbrook, 18-16, Colts. And that was a good block by Meadowbrook. Just put it right where, right where she needed to. Well, didn't make the tape that time. Didn't get over. Here's a good serve. Picked up. To the outside. That's hit hard. And put down by number 15, Savannah Stacy. And Archbishop. 5'11 freshman. Having a great answer to Meadowbrook's swing there. 18-17. This was a good rotation now for McNicholas. Good serve, good up to the outside. That's hit by Stoney, put up by the setter. Walks to the outside. Carly Launder hits the right side, off the block and out of bounds. Point Meadowbrook, 19-17 now. for the Colts. See if they can break 20. Black. Out of bounds, that's gonna make it 19-18. And Archbishop doing exactly what they need to to keep this game close. A Little bit of a service error there by Avery Black. Haven't seen many of those. Here's number six, Kelsa Haas with the serve for McNicholas. Ball is in. Put up by Nicola. Backline hit. Good roll up, good roll across. Now, put up by the Lady Rockets. Ball's across. Put up. Here's Launder. That's a good hit. Carly Launder off the block and out of bounds. 20 to 18, Colts. Boy, this game is tight. This is one of the closer, closer games that Meadowbrook has done this season. You know, coming into this, only losing what? One set in the entire playoff run? That I remember. Ball's put up nice up to the middle. Hit down by Katie Stoney. They're going to stay out of bounds, and that's a good call, I think. And he, he's right on that line, so he can see exactly what he needs to see. Point McNicholas, 20-19. to 19. Lady Colts by one. Ball is in by McNicholas. Journey Nicola puts it up for the Colts. Back set, Stoney's. Great dig by the Lady Rockets, and a cross put up by Journey Nicola for the Lady Colts. Cross now. Lady Rockets with a good pass up. Now to the outside. That's hit again off the block. Nicola picks it up. Put across now by Stoney. Good response. To the middle. March down. <laughs> that was number nine, Lucy Perkins. 6-1 middle hitter for the Lady Rockets. 20-20, to -20, Brett. And they're coming back, giving some high intensity. Meadowbrook is looking for an answer right now. Put up by Avery Black to the backside. Hit by Stoney. Tough. Overpass. Put down by the Lady Colts. Now the Lady Rockets get across. Free ball. Pumped up to the middle. Blocked by the Lady Rockets. Fantastic defense from Archbishop. To the outside. Picked up by the Lady Colts. To the outside. Norman's hit is in. Nice up by Carly Longer to the middle. Right across into the middle into the dead zone. Picked up by the Lady Rockets. Picked up by the Lady Colts. Now back across. Lady Rockets pick it up. Now to the outside. That's hit. Dug up by Nicola. Balls across. Long set. Point Lady Rockets. Long rally. And point to McNicholas. They've got a 21-20 lead. That was such a long rally from both sides there. And... Meadowbrook taking a timeout to talk some things over. 21 to 20. This has been quite a game here. Back and forth we go. And after that long rally, Coach Kelly Zender wanting to talk to her girls. Got to give the Lady Rockets a lot of credit. They are picking everything up defensively. They have Outstanding been doing job by Archbishop McNicholas. Fantastic. Nicholas. Whether the ball needs dug out of the net, whether somebody needs to be diving to save it, no matter what the case is, Archbishop McNicholas is, is getting the ball back across well. Well, I'll tell you, this rotation is a little tough for the Colts. They've got number 10, Nat Norman, on the outside. Addie Sitchna setting in number 11, Katie Stoney. So this is probably the youngest across the front line that the Colts get. 
Number 15, Savannah Stacy with the serve for the Lady Rockets. Ball's in. Put up. Crossed by Norman. To the outside now. Middle set. Ball did not make tape. That was number nine, Lucy Perkins. She couldn't, that set was a little low and point Meadowbrook. 21-21, all even again. And she's definitely frustrated with herself not being able to get that over top of the tape. Ball's put up by the Lady Rockets. Good serve in. To the outside and in. I'm sitting right on the line. That's a good call. That was in. 22-21, McNicholas. Remember, you have to win by two. Where that ball hit was almost right in front of us. Number nine, Lucy Perkins with the serve. Ball is in. Nicely up by Black. Ball's put in by Taylor Sitchna now. Second ball, bump from the back. Ooh. Off the block and down. That's going to be Point McNicholas. 23-21 now. Timeout again. Coach Zender wanting to talk things over. You know, Archbishop McNicholas getting such good first passes, it's a little bit hard to double block, and they've got outstanding hitters. Yeah, it's definitely been hard for Meadowbrook, especially in, in this past span, because now it seems like Archbishop is doing what Meadowbrook had done at the beginning of this game. Well, I think the rotations favor McNicholas now. This is the tough end of the rotation for Meadowbrook, although Taylor Sitchna is back up on the front, and that does help the Lady Colts. Definitely but, an advantage for the Colts. and, and he, I mean, Archbishop is coming at their side with size as well. Yeah. But if, Addie, you're, if you're Meadowbrook, you definitely want to try and get some momentum back. Addie Sitchin up front as well, so that's only two hitters now for the Colts on the front line. Here's number nine, Lucy Perkins with the serve. That ball is in. Ah, it's a bad bump. 24-21, game point now for McNicholas. Lady Colts need a good pass up. Serve is in. Put up this time. Back line. Launders hit is up and good. Outside. Hit is blocked by the Colts. Picked up by Meadowbrook. Up and out. Nobody touched it. That's going to be point Meadowbrook. And Addie Sitchda with the serve. 24-22. McNicholas with a two-point lead. Ball is in. Put up by McNicholas to the outside. That ball's hit and down. Point game McNicholas. Tough for the Colts, but Archbishop coming with some high intensity and getting it exactly where they need it. All right, scoring game one. It's... Archbishop McNicholas 25, Meadowbrook 22. We'll take a break. We'll be back with game two right after this. Do you really think that an insurance company who promises quotes in a few minutes has your best interest in mind? Do they really know you and what coverages you need? Hi, this is John Valentine with Valentine Insurance. We take time to learn about you and your insurance needs so you can feel comfortable that you're receiving the right coverages at the best possible prices. Find us on Facebook, stop by our office, or give us a call at 994-1776. Valentine Insurance, a partner you can depend on. How can you select from insurance companies offering you lizards or ducks? When it comes to protection for your home and auto, you want a company that provides quality insurance products and personalized, fair, friendly claims service. WB Green Insurance represents Westfield Insurance. Their reputation is based on sharing knowledge and building trust. Westfield has been around the neighborhood over 150 years. WB Green Insurance welcomes the opportunity to quote your home, car, and business insurance. Don't be fooled by lizards and ducks. Call 439-1329. I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. And on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down, and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door, and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. 
Yeah. Was 40 by pay here. We'll help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge. Don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. And we're back at Wright State University, the Nutter Center, home of the girls' Division Three state semifinals. Lady Colts trailing the Archbishop McNicholas Rockets. One game to nothing now. 25-22 win for the Lady Rockets in game one. A tough loss in that first game. Yeah, keep in mind, Meadowbrook. Meadowbrook lost their first game of the regional semifinal to uh, Nelsonville York. Right. And it's came be, back it's from that. Going to be interesting to see the response from Meadowbrook. And, you know, the OHSA has been oh so grateful, and they have they have statistics here, but we'll Carlo, get to those in a second. Carol Launders first service in, balls bumped up, and that hits the antenna. That's going to be out of bounds, so can't bump that antenna at all. That's Point Meadowbrook one nothing Lady Colts. Carol Launder with her second serve, balls in, overpass picked up by the Lady Colts, bumped up and now free ball across. The Rockets to the outside, that's hit. Dug up by Launder. Hit by Carly Launder. Carol Launder dug the ball up. Middle set, balls put up by number four, Addie Sitchin, and now rolled across by Carly Launder. To the outside, balls hit and in. That was close. A tough call by the official on this side. He was right at his feet, he had oh, to see yeah. it. That's going to make it 1-1 one, one now. Ball is in for McNicholas. Journey. Nicola's bump is up. Down the line. McNicholas can't dig it out. Point Meadowbrook. Something that if this would have happened in the, the first game there, Archbishop probably would have been able to tend to that and get it back over. Taylor Sitchin to put eight serves in for the Lady Colts in game one. She was the leading server. Balls in for the Lady Colts. To the middle, dumped across. Put up by Kara Launder. To the outside, rolled across by Carly Launder. Back to the back side, balls turned down the line. Good up by Kara Launder. Back set by Addy Sitchna. Rolled back across. Picked up by the Lady Rockets. Ball goes across. Addie Sitchner with a set to the outside, rolled across by Carly Launder. In the middle. Nice dig by the Lady Colts. Rolled back across. Carly Launder to the outside for the Lady Rockets. Carly Launder could not pick it up. That's going to be Point McNicholas 2 2. A pretty long rally there, but not an intense rally. Didn't, yeah, didn't see many hard hits. It was good defense for the most part. Right. And that's what you want to see from both of these teams. Keep the defensive intensity high and consistent. Boom. Ball hits the tape. Good job by the Lady Colts. Middle set. Ball's dumped across. Libero comes up and grabs it for Lady, uh, the Lady Rockets. Blocked by Meadowbrook. That's a good double. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That did not come back. That didn't, uh, didn't make it across. That was... Close, but uh, Point McNicholas. 3-2 Lady Rockets. They were up for the block and it just hit off their hands and Ooh. down Kara to the right first them. dig is to the back line. Nicola brings it back in. Rolled across by the Lady Colts. Here's a hit. Block off the Meadowbrook block. That is number six, Avery Black. Unable to turn that ball in. Point McNicholas. Not the start you want to see if you're Meadowbrook trying to get Archbishop off of this service run. 4-2 McNicholas. Balls put up to the middle. Hit! Inbounds. Nice hit by Carly Launder. A great hit by Launder. I mean, could not put it in, in the corner any more than she did. Turned that ball awfully well. Here's Avery Black with the serve. Ball's in. Up, overpass. And that's going to be Point Meadowbrook. Pass came over the net and blocked back into the McNicholas side of the court. 
Seemed to be just a bit too much on that pass there. Almost went over the net. 4-4. Avery Black. Service is in. Ball's put up. Not to the setter. Bad first pass. Rolled across by McNicholas. You love the hustle from Archbishop. They're doing a fantastic Hit by Launder down the line. No touch. Point McNicholas. Boy, Carly Launder turned that ball. She turned it just a little bit too hard, and it went out of bounds. Now the libero, Allie Strange, with the serve for McNicholas. Put up by Black. Back line set. Black rolls it across. Dug out by Strange, the libero. Put down and off the arms of Avery Black. Goes out of bounds. That's Point McNicholas. 6-4 Lady Rockets. Makes you wonder if some of the, uh, the stage high-intensity nerves are getting to Black there because that's not the first time she's tried to hit a ball like that and yeah, she's, she's gotten away from her. Out of bounds. Good call. Boy, I'll tell you what, Journey Nicole yelled out. She wasn't sure, though. Took a good look at it. The lines, linesman agreed, and it's out of bounds. Point Meadowbrook. Definitely a close call. And he's right down on the line, as you can see. So, good call by the official there. And now Meadowbrook with the serve. Carly, Laun Carly Launder with the serve. Ball's in by Launder. To the outside. It'll roll back across. Addie Sitchner with the hit. There's a turn by Stoney. Tough ball. I can't do anything with it. Again, you look... The hustle from Archbishop is phenomenal. You love to see that from your team. They're doing a fantastic job, and Meadowbrook really having to work for their points. Launder's serve is in. Oh, they're going to say out. Oh, my goodness. She actually took a wave at it. <laughs> Number 15, Savannah Stacy actually moved her hands toward the ball and then let it go. It was out of bounds. Close call. That makes it 7-6. Lady Rockets leading over Lady Colts. Balls off the tape. That's a good serve. That's an ace serve. First one we've seen. Kelsa Haas puts the serve in. 8-6 McNicholas. They hit off the tape and Meadowbrook essentially just froze. And, you know, it, it, when it comes to that situation, it's kind of hard to tell what the ball is going to do if it hits the tape. Balls in to the middle. Blocked by the Lady Rockets, and no, nobody there, nobody home as they dug it back across. Poked back across by McNicholas, and nobody there for the Colts to pick it up. 9-6, Lady Rockets. Ball is in. Black's bump is up to the outside. To the middle, down and point. Archbishop McNicholas riding the hot hand. 10-6, Lady hand. Rockets. Timeout. Coach Zender talking to her girls. I'll tell you what, this is not really a case where Meadowbrook is playing badly, but you have to give McNicholas a lot of credit. They're picking everything up. They've been doing fantastic. You know, my biggest thing is their hustle is, is absolutely phenomenal. You know, they're getting after balls, getting them up, getting them back over, and doing exactly what they need to be doing to have the upper hand over Meadowbrook here. Now, when you look at the state rankings, Archbishop is above Meadowbrook. Ranked 10th and ranked 13th. I don't know if those state rankings mean a whole lot Probably right now. Probably not, but in this instance, you have the teams playing like they're numbered. You know, Archbishop up 10-6 right now. Um, not letting Meadowbrook get any ground. You know, the, the Colt faithful trying to do their best and, and keeping you know, Meadowbrook energized and Getting and the girls ready. back into the game. It's a tough rotation here for the Lady Colts. But if you compare the, the student bodies of Archbishop to Meadowbrook, Archbishop nearly doubles Meadowbrook. Gorge Archbishop McNicholas, a private school down near Cincinnati. Ball is in off the tape. Picked up, nice job to the outside. That's hit by Norman. Hit by the Lady Rockets. Dumped back across by Addie Sitchna. To the back. Ball's hit. Good up by Journey Nicola. Back set. And they're going to call double. And that's a good call. Addie Sitchna tried to take it back across the net. Official says hands are not good. So that's going to give the Lady Rockets a point. 11-6 now. Ball's put up by Meadowbrook to the outside. That's hit by Norman, or excuse me, Stoney. Stoney will hit again. Rolls the ball across. That's tough. Out of bounds. 
Point Lady Colts, bleeding stops. Taylor sits in the back in the lineup, Journey Nicola with the serve for Meadowbrook. Nicola's serve is in. Middle set. Walked by the Colts, but across. That's number nine, Lucy Perkins. Archbishop not letting Meadowbrook get any ground. They did have a short lapse that allowed Meadowbrook to get their seventh point, but. Hey, McNicholas uh, came back from a six point deficit. Meadowbrook can do the same. Balls in by the Lady Rockets to the outside. Dumped, trouble, and picked up by the Lady Rockets. Avery Black, nice pass up to the middle. Middle set. And point, Lady Rockets. Number nine, Lucy Perkins puts the ball down. Meadowbrook playing a bit frantic right now, not getting any, any of the answers that they want. Just trying to find something while Archbishop is definitely riding the wave. Good up by Carly Launder. Rolled across by Launder now. Tub, trouble picked up by the Lady Colts. Sichna is set to the outside. Norman's hit is blocked and taken across by Taylor Sichna. Good effort by the Colts. To the Colts. outside, that's hit and inbounds. 14-7, seven, seven point lead for Archbishop and Nicholas. The libero journey thought it was out, but I don't think she realized how close she was to the net. Ball's put in. Good up by Carly Launder to the outside. Sitchna picked up by the Lady Rockets. To the middle, outside, and touched by the Lady Colts. 15-7, eight-point lead. Coach Zender wanting to talk things over, hoping to get out of this rotation that's given them so much trouble. Definitely not, definitely not the situation of being for the Colts. You know, especially in this playoff run, barely losing any games. You're now down 15-7 in this, in this second game, you know, threatening to go down 2-0. I don't see any panic out of Meadowbrook. I think just good play by McNicholas. And you can see their size at the net is giving Meadowbrook some problems. Yeah, that's typically not been too much of an issue for the Colts this year. You've seen a lot of instances where Meadowbrook has been able to handle that. McNicholas is a better passing team than most of these, these teams with the big girls that we've seen. They're passing the ball very, very well. And you're seeing a lot of passes that go from one side to the other. You know, if you have the passes that are, you know, your short dump downs or you know, anything that you're dealing with, I mean, like you said, a fantastic passing team from Archbishop. Savannah Stacy with the serve for the Lady Rockets. Ball's in, put up by Carly Launder. Addie Sitchna set. And Taylor Sitchna off the block. They're, giving They're gonna that say that is a that is a, that is a touch by McNicholas on the block. Ball rolls out of bounds. It'll be point Meadowbrook, 15 to 8. Addie Sitchna serve is in. Put up by the setter. That's going to be a free ball across. Rolled across. Journey Nicola picks it up. Sitchna is set to the outside. Rolled in. That's a great roll. Number 10, Natalie Norman putting it in. The freshman finds a hole in the Rockets' defense. 15 to 9. Can Addie Sitchna provide the service run the Lady Colts need? Ball's in. Outside. Blocked by the Colts, picked up by Meadowbrook. Nicola's bump to the back line. Carly Launders' roll is across. To the middle, dumped across, and that's number nine, Perkins. She's 6'1", she's just too big. She gets up, and if she decides she's going to dump the ball, there's a nice hole in the floor, and she can see it really well. Perkins back with the serve now for McNicholas. Out of bounds. Close call for Meadowbrook there, but... They're trying their best to mend the storm and get some points back their direction. 16 to 10. Here's, here's the uh, first rotation for the Lady Colts, and this has been where the Lady Colts have been able to pick up points. Kara Launder. Ball's in. Dump the cross. That's the setter right there. That is Maria Billies, and she finds... A little hole across the net. Meadowbrook definitely caught off guard by that, and 
tough spot for the Colts right now. If, if Meadowbrook needs anything they need to tuck over, they are out of timeouts. To the outside, hit by Carly Launder, balls up, across. Oh no! Avery Black runs into Addy Sitchna and the setter can't get to the ball. 18-10, Point McNicholas. Ball's put in. Ball's across, picked up by the Colts and down. It's going to be Point McNicholas. 19-10. Balls, oh, hits the tape and in, that's point. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's tough. And number 14, Maria Billies, the setter with the serve, hitting the tape and just finding a spot where there was nobody could get to it. Yeah, the Rockets are definitely just catching Meadowbrook where they should not be. To the outside, Carly Launder pounds it. And that's point Meadowbrook. Here's Taylor Sitchna. She had a big run in the first game. Let's see if she can do it again. 20 to 11, McNicholas with a nine point lead. Sitchna's serve is in. Ball's put up to the middle and out. No touch by Meadowbrook. That's point Lady Colts, 20 to 12. Yeah, they're trying to do what they can to get some sort of a service run. Um, definitely trying to build some momentum because Archbishop is just taking Sitchna's control of the service out. game. That is a service error, and that's tough. She's definitely frustrated by that. You can see her over on the bench now. 21-12. McNicholas, four points away from taking a 2-0 lead in this match in games. With the serve, here's number 10, Gabby Hopkins. Balls out of bounds. 21-13. Here's Avery Black, who's had a number of good ser service runs throughout this tournament with the serve. Ball's in. Bad first pass. That's hit in. Nice job by the Lady Rockets. Sitchna now back inside. Good roll there by Carly Launder. That's put into no man's land. Lady Rockets can't pick it up. Point Meadowbrook, 21 14. Boy, five points here out of Avery Black and uh, Colts are back in it. Served by Black, is in. Billy Set is up to the outside, that's down. A great hit by Archbishop. Savannah Stacy finding a hole in the Meadowbrook block right between the middle and the outside blockers. Could be trouble for Meadowbrook here, number eight, Ali Strange. Good serves by Strange so far. To the outside, they're gonna say Tenna. Point McNicholas, 23-14 now. Nine point lead for the Lady Rockets. Another serve for the libero, Ali Strange for Archbishop McNicholas. Balls across, good up by Black. To the outside, hit hard by Carly Launder. 23-15 now, it's an eight point lead. And I noticed that number eight, Allie Strange for Archbishop, she was a left-handed server. Libero. That changes the spin on the ball when you're left-handed. Ball's in, nice, nice serve by Launder. To the outside, that's hit. Off the Meadowbrook block, picked up by Meadowbrook. Tenna, and Tenna. That is gonna be point McNicholas. That is tough for Meadowbrook. You do a fantastic job on defense to try and get that ball across and it just nicks that intent on the right hand side. 24-15, game point for Archbishop McNicholas. Ball is in. To the middle, Stoney's hit is in. Blocked by Meadowbrook, put up Addy Sitchna to the outside. Now Norman's hit is in, bumped up by McNicholas to the outside. Blocked by the Lady Colts. Picked up by the libero. Now it'll be taken across by Stoney. To the middle, ball's in. That's number nine, Lucy Perkins. 25-15, that's gonna do it. Game number two goes to McNicholas. 
And with that, we're going to take a quick break, Brett. The score in the match is Archbishop McNicholas 2, Meadowbrook nothing. Back with more right after this. Are you looking for a career path with a growing company? AMG Vanadium is actively recruiting for production and maintenance team members at its Zanesville plant and would love to talk to you about your next career opportunity. Come join a company with a strong environmental purpose and commitment to community. To learn more, visit AMG's website at amg-v.com careers. AMG offers a competitive wage and benefit package and career growth opportunities. Applications are currently being accepted. Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Start thinking about outdoor project season. That's where Jay and Tree Care Services can help. Whether it's hauling, cutting, trimming, removal, stump grinding, leaf and debris cleanup, or any other timber project, nothing is too far away, too big, or too small. JNS Tree Care Services can do it all. Find us on Facebook at JS Tree Care Services and call me, Jeanette, or my husband, Steve, for a free quote at 740-260-6603. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it's for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company from Iowa to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today, 740-305-5121 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. Welcome back. We're at the Nutter Center, Wright State University. Lady Colts down to Archbishop McNicholas. Two games to nothing. Brett, right now, your coach Zender, you just tell your girls, look, we play one point at a time. We don't try to win the match here in a single game. We just play one point at a time. We just try to get back into things. Exactly. And based on these first two, I mean, it's this has been the story of the Archbishop McNicholas Rockets. They have been taking this game by storm. They had a bit of a shaky start, but that did not let them, you know, get caught up in anything. They did, They had a good comeback in the first game. Second game controlled it from start to finish. And then third game for Meadowbrook looking to get momentum and change the, change the story of this game. Lady Rockets basically picking everything up defensively since uh, first probably nine points of this volleyball game. They are volleyball match, excuse me. They have done an outstanding job since that point. Serve goes to the Lady Rockets. Number 14. Ball's in. Nicole's bump is up. It's a good one. Back. And point. That is number three, Carly Launder with a nice hit. Taylor Sitchna now with the serve. And uh, she's been the top server today for the Lady Colts. Ball by Sitchna is in. Put up by the Lady Rockets to the outside. That's a hit. And they're going to say point Meadowbrook. Too much no of touch. a hit there by Archbishop, and that's a 2-0 lead for Meadowbrook. Set was a little bit far off the net, and she hit it behind her ear. Sitchna's serve is in. That's a great serve. Point Meadowbrook. This is much how the Lady Colts started off the first game. Definitely looking for a good service run to start from number one and see if they can keep this going. Medbrook comes into this game 23 and 5. McNicholas 20 and 7. Sitch and the serve is in. Put back in. There's a ball off the tape. Picked up by the Lady Colts to the outside. Launders hit is dug back in by McNicholas to the Great outside. Defense. Ball off the block now. By both teams here. Great defense. To the outside. Rolled by Carly Launder. That ball's in. To the outside now. McNicholas hit. Good dig by Carly Launder to the back. Black. That ball's hit. Put up by McNicholas to the middle. Picked up by, ah! One of the Colt defenders reached out and tipped it past one of the back line players, but you don't know who's back there. A little hard to call things when they're coming that quick. A bit tough for the Colts there. You know, definitely a, a pretty decent sized rally that was going on filled with great defense. 
Serves in by McNicholas to the outside. Get by Launder, and that's blocked. Great block there by number 12, Ava Strange. That set was a little bit too tight for Carly Launder. Ball into the net. Service air by McNicholas for two Meadowbrook. And now we're looking for a service run from somebody who's been doing great for the Colts. Number six. Avery Black with the serve. Ball's in. Good serve. To the outside. That's hit hard, but out of bounds. They're going to say touch on Meadowbrook. That would have been by the libero, Jerry Nicola. See the lineman with the touch sign. Tough break for Meadowbrook there. Ball's put in. To the outside. Hit by Meadowbrook. Point, Lady Colts. Meadowbrook with the point. 5-3 now. Now we have the one of the senior captains for this team serving for the Colts. Carly Launder. Ball's in. Picked up by the Lady Rockets to the middle. Blocked up and the Colts set to the outside. That's hit by McNicholas. Back across. Here's a hit from the outside and nice job there by McNicholas. That was number 15, Savannah Stacy. Definitely one of the better, better, better passing teams that Meadowbrook has gone up against. Archbishop doing a fantastic job getting it exactly where they want it to go. Once you get that first pass up, it's time for some good offense. Ball's up here by Lady Colts. Free ball cross for Meadowbrook. To the outside, that took something off of it. Sichna set to the outside, Nat Norman off the block. To the middle. Ah, let's see. Somebody was in the net. That's going to be Meadowbrook in the net. And point McNicholas. 5-5 five, five now. Number six, Kelsa Haas with the serve for McNicholas. Ball's in. Sitchna with the back line set to Launder. Ball's put up to the middle. Blocked by Meadowbrook. No. Off the block and point McNicholas. Stoney got up but could not get two hands on that block. It seems as though every time Meadowbrook is trying to get something, Archbishop knows exactly how to not only answer but capitalize on it too. If Meadowbrook is playing good defense at the net, they'll get a good hit either in the middle or back line. Sent to the outside. Dumped by Nat Norman. Put across by McNicholas to the middle. There's Perkins again. Boy, all day long. They get her the ball in the middle, and she just, if she can't find a hit, she just dumps it across. And again, like I just mentioned, Meadowbrook had good defensive play at the net. So what does Archbishop turn around and do? Gather themselves and hit it right in the middle where nobody is. Off the tape. To the back. Stoney with a good hit and blocked back in by the Lady Colts. Now picked up by McNicholas. Rolled back across. Good pass up to the middle. Stoney's hit is blocked. To the outside. Back line hit by Carly Launder. To the outside by McNicholas. Picked up by Black. To the back corner. Picked up by McNicholas. To the middle. Perkins tries to turn and she can't get the ball across the tape. A good, rally by, both, a good rally by both sides there. Good defensive plays from both sides and ended up with just not enough mustard from Archbishop McNicholas. 7-6 now. Good serve by Journey Nicola. Dug out by McNicholas. Now Nicola with it. There's a backline hit. Sitchna and the ball is in. Point Meadowbrook, 7-7. Seven, seven. Tough call for the official there, but that's his line. That's what he's looking at. Seeing if it goes out past that. Called it in. Point Meadowbrook. 7-7, seven, seven, tie ball game. Journey Nicola back with the serve. Ball's in. Put up by Nicola. To the middle. Put up, nice dig by Launder. To the outside. Ball's dug up by McNicholas. To the outside again. Ball's put up and... Point McNicholas off the touch. 8-7, Lady Rockets.
Cassidy. Rivas is in. She's given the Colts fits all day. To the outside. Sitchna with a great hit. A great hit, but a, a fantastic answer by Archbishop. Backline hit by Carly Launder. Dug up by McNicholas. Backline hit by McNicholas. I don't know if to you saw what I saw, Bill, but on that good hit by Meadowbrook, I uh, mean, she was essentially folded like a lawn chair, but managed to get that ball back in play. Taylor Sitchna tries to throw a hit toward the line and just out of bounds. It'll be Point McNicholas. Picked up by the Lady Colts. Taylor Sitchna rolls it across. Outside hit. Dug up by Nicola. Tough hit by Archbishop. Back Archbishop. Line. Good answer by the Colts. To the outside. Quick pass across. Sitchna now. Hit by Norman and point. Meadowbrook. Nine eight. McNicholas with a one point lead. Colts need this game. They are down to nothing. Trying to get back in it here. Addy Sitchin to serve is in. To the outside. Good hit. Picked up by the Lady Colts. Off the block. Sitchin rolls it. Out of bounds. Ten eight. McNicholas. Perkins with the serve. Lucy Perkins, 6-1 junior. Ball's put in by Perkins to the middle. Dumped by Sitchna. Across, picked up by Norman. Norman will hit it now. Picked up again by Norman. Journey Nicola, back line, that's Black. Rolling it down the line. Picked up by the Lady Rockets. Now across. Journey Nicola puts the bump up. Back line roll by Carly Launder. Good to the rally. outside, hit, great dig by Journey Nicola. To the outside, hit by Norman, out of bounds. It was a great rally by both teams. Well, Again, a lot, all of these rallies, every single one I've seen, have just been about good defense and then something not going one team's way. Yeah, Natalie Norman with a good strong swing, ball just out of bounds. Sitchner with a hit, off the tape, picked up by McNicholas. They get it across, picked up by Carly Launder. Now back across by Norman. To the outside, here's a hit. Dug up by Carly Launder. To the outside again. Norman with the hit. And point, Meadowbrook. That's big. 11-9, McNicholas. A handful of good defenses just going at it. You know, you see a lot of good plays at the net, a lot of good plays going from one side of the court to the other. And... Archbishop passing, doing good, but Meadowbrook just doing their best to keep themselves in this game, try and not lose this match. Carol Launder in now with the serve. Balls to the outside. Great block there by Meadowbrook. Here's a hit to the outside, picked up by Carly Launder. To the middle, Sitchna, great hit. Dug up by McNicholas, nothing doing. 11-10, one point lead for the Lady Rockets. This is key right here. Kara Launder can put a couple serves in, give Meadowbrook a lead. It might change momentum. Exactly what the Colts are looking for. Ball's in. Bad dig by the libero for the Lady Rockets. Rolled across for McNicholas. Middle hit. Sitchna got it in, picked up by the Lady Rockets. Rolled in. Journey Nicola with the dig. Across. Roll by Launder. Picked up by the Lady Rockets. To the outside, middle hit, and dug by Meadowbrook. Here's a hit by Launder, out of bounds, but no! Kara Launder couldn't pull it in. Great effort by the Lady Colts, but it's a 12-10 lead for the Lady Rockets. Number 14 with the serve, the setter, Maria Billies. She's a good one. A lot of fantastic passing by Archbishop. I, I can't say enough just how... Back set. Effective it's been this game. Sitchna with a good hit. Dug up by McNicholas, but nothing doing. They can't find it. Point Meadowbrook. This is kind of like the first the first match that they had, you know. In that first game, it was back and forth a lot. Relied a lot on, you know. It wasn't too reliant on service runs. It was more of who had better passing and whose defense could prevail. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this third game here. Sitchna's serve is in. Back set. Blocked by Meadowbrook, and they can't pick it up. 
That is number two, Cassidy Rivas with the good hit from the right side. Number 10 with the serve, Gabby Hopkins for the Lady Rockets. Ball's in. Put up by a Carly Launder to the outside. Stoney's hit is across the net. Rolled across by McNicholas. Nicola digs it up. Carly Launder puts it across to the outside. Down the line and inbounds. All of that in. That's first call I don't know about. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if that was in. That is the one spot on the floor where I mean both officials are the furthest from it. And we're we are right in front of that where yeah. that happened. And yeah, it did not look in, but right they're, up, they're gonna give it to him. 14 point, to 11 McNicholas. That point for Archbishop McNicholas makes it 14-11. Meadowbrook with the timeout. Now, you know, three-point game, all manageable. But it just makes you wonder, you know, what is Meadowbrook's answer going to be? Because they haven't really had one all match. Well, they had one good service run. That was the first run of the day by Taylor Sichna. Although, Coach Kelly Zender said she had some potential service targets. To this point, the Colts have not been able to put any nice runs together. It's actually been McNicholas who's found some weaknesses in the Meadowbrook rotation. I'd have to agree with you there. I mean, Archbishop just... Size at the net's been a, been a big part of the story. And then Good then, passing by McNicholas, but size at the net. And size hasn't really been too much of an issue for the Colts. They've been doing a great That's job. That's out of bounds. Wander tries to dump it in, and she can't find it. Puts it out of bounds. That's 15 to 11. Rockets. Right, and you've seen a lot of instances where the size has not been an issue for Meadowbrook. They've been able to manage it, but definitely in this game with great passing and, and good defense. As we just see there. Good block. Point, Archbishop. The size just too much for the Colts. And L Lily Tierney, and that's one of the Colts' best hitters. Carly Launder. Just had the roof up on her. All right, ball is out of bounds. Good call by the Lady Colts. 16 to 12 now. Avery Black is up. Black's ball is in. Libero Strange digs it up. Inbounds. Tough play there by found, the Libero. Found a hole. The call, but You can't blame her for that. That was very close to going out. A real tight play and point Archbishop looking to close this thing out. Strange with the serve. Balls up. Back set. Great job by Launder to hit it. Dug up by McNicholas to the outside. Blocked by Meadowbrook. Point Lady Colts. Carly Launder, Katie Stoney. Here's Nat Norman coming in. Kara Black, or excuse me, Kara, um, Kara Launder taking a seat on the bench. Carly Launder serveth in to the outside, dumped by McNicholas. Addie Sitchness passes up and blocked by McNicholas. Archbishop doing a fantastic job. Again, size is their friend in this. They are taking advantage of it tenfold. Yeah, and they've, they've passed as well as the Colts have, which Meadowbrook hasn't seen all year, I don't think. Back set, Stoney. Ball's rolled in to the middle and hit. Picked up by the Lady Colts to the outside. Stoney's hit is out of bounds. Off McNicholas. That's going to be point Lady Colts. Definitely what you want to see, trying to get some momentum. You know, a play like that is what you want to have working for you. Um... Hopefully a service run is what you can get out of the Colts here to keep this game alive. Ball's in by Journey Nicola. Dumped back across. Picked up by Meadowbrook, but wasn't enough. Addy Sitchna couldn't pull it up off the deck, and that's going to be Point Lady Rockets. That kind of play was something you don't see every, you know, every day. She, she went to that ball, just hit it. Dumped it. Dumped the it. other side of her head. Yeah, dumped it right over her head. Ball's put in by McNicholas. To the middle, and 
That's a great job there. That was Nat Norman putting it in. Strong front line now for Meadowbrook. Addy Sitchna with the serve. Ball's in. Tough spot. Picked up by the Lady Rockets. Dug up by Meadowbrook. Great dig there by the Colts. Put across and out of bounds. Nat Norman. Fans on the pass across the net. And that's going to be point. Lady Rockets. 20 to 15. Five point lead for Archbishop McNicholas. Ball is out of bounds. Point good read, good Meadowbrook. read there by the Colts. Definitely trying to keep this game alive. 20 to 16. Archbishop leads. If you're Meadowbrook, you are doing, at this point, every single point matters. No matter what you say. Down 2-0, 20-16, you know, you, you need to get something going. And that's exactly what Kara you Carol Wander with an ace. Off the hands of the libero, number eight, Ali Strange. Looking to get a good service right out of here from the Meadowbrook Colts. And if they can get the right momentum, definitely take control of this third game. Three-point lead by the Lady Rockets. Again, a bad pass. Rolled back across by McNicholas. Put up. Here's Black with a hit. Doug blocked and put back by Meadowbrook. Now, Launder. Block. Launders is blocked. Back set. Black rolls it out. And that's what happens with a big block. You start hitting it fatter. You start hitting it higher. And you hit it long. The game's starting to slip away from the Colts. Not over yet. A lot of good defense, you know. You're starting to see Archbishop getting a little bit sloppy with their passes. Wonder if that's going to be a continuing. Wonder that ball's in. You wonder if that's going to continue for the Rockets. Hopefully not. Meadowbrook capitalizing on it there with a good hit. And now they have to serve. Taylor Sitchna with the serve now for Meadowbrook. Ball's in. Pulled up by the Lady Rockets. Rolled back across. Picked up by Meadowbrook. This is going to be rolled by Black across. To the outside. That's hit and down. A great hit by That's number, number two, two Cassidy, Cassidy Rivas. Rivas. A great hit to inch this game closer to a state final berth. Rivas is a 5'9 senior. So this is her last opportunity. Timeout Meadowbrook. 22-18. Meadowbrook running out of points here. State semifinal action. Archbishop McNicholas is up two games to nothing, winning the first game 25 to 22, winning the second game 25 to 15. Scoring this game 22 to 18. Lady Colts are down by four. They need some good things to start happening right now. And you've seen, you know, one of this is the toughest team that I think Meadowbrook has faced in a, in a good while. A team that has fantastic passing. Their height at the net is giving Meadowbrook fits all game. Great defense from both teams. Archbishop, again, just using that height to get the upper hand on their defensive plays as well. Um, the, the student body for Archbishop McNicholas, they are hoping and excited for their team to come away with a victory here, up 22-18 in this third game. Ali Runty with the serve for McNicholas. Substitution in now for the Lady Rockets. Runty serve is out. Point Meadowbrook, 22-19. And it was interesting, you know, you see that play on the floor. I didn't see any of them call out until it was about to their faces. Well, a lot of times you don't have to call out. If, you, if the ball's over your shoulders, a lot of times you know it's out. Especially that far back. It was an easy call for them. Good serve by Black. Ball's in. Off the block now. Meadowbrook picks it up. Addy Sitchna. Roll by Stoney. Dug up by McNicholas. To the outside. Tierney with a hit. And off the block. Black can't pick it up. That's going to be point Lady Rockets. 23-19. With the serve now, number eight, Allie Strange, yeah, the these libero. Two. Ball's put up by the Lady Colts. 
going to be free across by Carol Wander. To the middle. Picked up by Meadowbrook. Good defense by the Colts. Back across. Ah! Carly Launder has her hit blocked. 24-19 match point McNicholas. And now the Rocket faithful is almost all of them behind us here are standing up on their feet trying to send their team to a state final. Ball's game. in to the outside. Launder's hit is inbounds. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Coach Darlene Tierney thought it was out. <laughs> she was getting ready to celebrate. And the, <laughs> the Archbishop <laughs> bench, they almost thought it was out too. 24-20 called in by the linesman. Ball's in. To the outside. Hit is dug up by Journey Nicola to the back. No, nothing doing. Carly Launder can't get it in. That's going to do it. 25-20. Archbishop McNicholas comes away with a three games to none victory over the Lady Colts. 25-22, 25-15, and 25-20. Medbrook bows out of the girls' Division III state tournament again in the state semifinals. Congratulations to the Lady Rockets. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more from Wright State University right after this. Stoney's RV Center is the place that makes buying a new RV easy. Ask about their on-site financing with very affordable payments, and they make on-site camper service calls to the area campgrounds. Stoney's RV also carries cargo trailers, car haulers, horse and stock trailers, and open utility trailers. They install hitch systems and fill propane tanks, too. Stoney's RV Center, the place that takes camping to the next level and a proud sponsor of our area high school sports teams. Are you paying too much for homeowner's insurance? Has your insurance company raised your deductible? Hi, this is John Valentine with Valentine Insurance. Many people can't accurately answer these questions. With many premiums escrowed into mortgages, homeowners don't pay attention to changes to their policies anymore. It's time you visit Valentine Insurance for a true, no-obligation review of your insurance policy. Call 994-1776 or stop by our office at 739 Southgate Parkway in Cambridge. Your home and your car are likely your two biggest investments. Protecting them from unexpected damage is a prime concern to WB Green Insurance. They are proud to represent Westfield Insurance, a financial service organization that provides insurance products for your home, auto, and business. Sharing knowledge, building trust is Westfield Insurance's pledge to their customers, along with personalized claim service that's fast and friendly. To learn how Westfield can help with your insurance needs, talk to WB Green Insurance today. And we're back. Wright State University. Disappointing uh, final game here for the uh, final match for the Meadowbrook Lady Colts as uh, they go down to Archbishop McNicholas 25-22, uh, 25-15, 25-20. Uh, Meadowbrook fought all day long. Clear advantage to the Lady Rockets at the net and they passed just as well as the Lady Colts did. Right, and definitely one of, one of, if not the best passing team that Meadowbrook has gone up against all year. Um, you just see a lot of advantages coming for Archbishop that they were, they were very easy to capitalize on against the Colts. You know, the biggest thing was great passes, setting up good hits, and leading to a lot of good kills on their end. Yeah, and they, they ended up they ended up, they're, they're a bigger team, and they ended up with those good passes, setting up a lot of single blocks against smaller blockers for the Lady Colts, and they were able to put it away. And I'll tell you something else. I, I noticed that um, number nine for the Lady Rockets, Lucy Perkins, um, she was 6'1". She was basically, if she didn't have a good hit, she was able to dump it in. Uh, happened a lot. Uh, Lily Tierney, same, uh, same thing, just a freshman, 5'11". So... Um, getting ready now for the next match uh, between uh, defending state champion Lake Catholic and St. Henry. Uh, but the Lady Colts will be bowing out. And uh, with that, we will be uh, bowing out as far as coverage goes for Meadowbrook. Although tomorrow, the Lady Zepps from Shenandoah get their shot. Shenandoah Zepps have their first appearance in the Final Four in school history, I believe. And they will be going up against the new Bremen Cardinals. Now... Not the Bremen we went through on our way to Logan. No, it's New Bremen. 
New Bremen. They're uh, they're they're in the same league as Coldwater and St. Henry, who's playing here in the uh, Division Three Final Four. It's a, it's a tough league, and uh, you see a lot of teams um, making it a long way in the state tournament uh, as far as girls volleyball goes. Right, and um, kind of mentioning about what we said earlier, you know, the Shenandoah Lady Zeps, who will be playing tomorrow. You will be able to catch that game. That will be on. Um, that will be on WWKC. Yes, KC one hundred five. For a second, mm -hmm. KC one hundred five, mm -hmm. and um, just Again. like this game, the video will be available after the conclusion of the game. Delay. Um, yes. Right. Following OHSAA regulations, don't want to get in trouble with big sports here in Ohio, but um, that will be a game that is the first serve at four. Tune into KC one hundred five. Um, we, Bill, are on WILE FM 97.7. Almost time for some Christmas music. Getting close to Thanksgiving, getting close to you know, some good stuff. But um, if you're Meadowbrook, I would not oh, be hanging my head low. State Second state final four in a row. So, you know, um, Colts run. That's uh, kind of what the theme of the thing has been. And uh, Meadowbrook on a great run until they run up against Archbishop McNicholas here in the final we want to hey, we want to thank uh, Coach Kelly Zender and her staff. Uh, they've been great uh, through this tournament run, uh, helping us out, giving us comments, and uh, giving us a little bit of time. And I want to thank uh, Coach Zender. I also want to uh, pass along our congratulations to three great seniors for the Lady Colts: uh, Taylor Sitchna, number one; Carly Launder, number three; uh, Avery Black, number six. Uh, those girls. Right there are seniors. Uh, they played their final game for the Lady Colts, and I'm sure that they're probably going to go on to the next level and play some more volleyball. Pretty good chance of that, um, especially coming into this season. If you're the Lady Colts, you know you have you you know you you were at the state semifinals in the previous season. You're coming into this. You lose your seniors. You don't know where you're going to be. And for any team, most people think you know new season, lost a handful of seniors, especially in the small community that. You know, we all share. You try to ha you try to be hopeful for the entire season, and the fact that these girls fought, they were resilient. They lost a couple in the regular season, but when they got to the tournaments, they really you know cranked up the intensity. Did a fantastic job. Well, I, like I said, Jeff Barrow said that you know the tough that they played some tough teams in the right. regular season, and that really does help your volleyball team because you're ready when games like this come along. Although, unfortunately today, you have to give a lot of credit to Archbishop McNicholas. Uh, they had the superior game at the net. The size of the Lady Rockets, uh, well, it was, a, it was a puzzle that the Lady Colts could not solve today, Brett. Right, and, um, you know, a fantastic season from the Colts. I think that they should be very proud with the outcome of the season. Um, now, next season, we'll see how that turns out. Losing three pretty important seniors, but you know, with what you have, you have a lot to build off of, hoping to at least make another good tournament run. Next year, again, Archbishop McNicholas advancing to the state final matchup. We, we're looking at the two teams in front of us, Lake Catholic and St. Henry, uh, looking to be a good matchup. That will be uh, available on the uh, NFHS network for those curious and seeing who Archbishop will be facing. So... Lake Catholic defending state champion. So always going to be tougher, you know. It is going up against St. Henry, but again, congratulations to the Meadowbrook Colts. You know, a fantastic season. Um, like I said, nothing to really be ashamed about, and especially you know going up against a team that you know that played so well of Archbishop. You know, a great season from the Lady Colts. All right, final score once again here this afternoon in three games. Archbishop McNicholas sweeps the Lady Colts out of the games, out of the tournament. The score, Lady Rockets 25, Meadowbrook 22 in game one, McNicholas 25, Colts 15 in game two, and in the final game, it was Archbishop McNicholas 25 and Meadowbrook 20. For Brett Klein, I'm Bill Kastler. Hey, I think we're all done here. I believe so. All I right. want to give a quick shout out. Thank you to our cameraman up top, Jaron Aberford making the climb up the ladder and helping us out a little bit, um, giving you the, the footage of tonight. Um, again, congratulations to the Meadowbrook Colts and um, a great season. So I believe with that, Bill, let's, say, let's send it out with a thanks to our sponsors. That'd be a good without, idea. Without our sponsors, we could not be here today. 
AMG Vanadium, TNS Tree Services, Patrons of Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Doan Ford, Valentine Insurance, WB Green Insurance, Stoney's RV Sales and Service, and West 40 Auto Sales. Without these sponsors, we could not be here today. Final score once again here from Wright State University. It is Archbishop McNicholas, three games, Meadowbrook none. I'm Bill Kastler. Have a great rest of your day. of ABC Sports.